Philips is in the middle of a big business transformation. And that transformation is really moving from a product, a functionally oriented company, to a truly customer oriented company. Starting with the specific needs of markets, specific needs of the customers and consumers in those markets. And what we're doing, we're bringing about our innovation, our capabilities, our brand to create these unique solutions for those markets while leveraging our global scale. And in order to leverage that skill, we have to standardize on common business models, common processes, common data definitions, and we're in the middle of making that change. What's driving the change is this new approach of a much more collaborative way to compete in the market. That means that not only R&D people need to do their job well, R&D people need to start working closely together with people who understand the market, people that deal with the marketing, people that deal with supply chain, with IT folks, because IT is becoming a more and more important part of our connected products. So the role PLM plays is not only to manage the life cycle of our products, it's also becoming almost like a hub to deal with information around products across the entire value chain. The impact of PLM for our customers will be enormous. It will allow our customers to configure products in the way that it meets their immediate requirements. It will also allow them to service their products much better. More importantly, it will allow us to get immediate feedback from those customers that can be reflected in faster time to market of new products or optimizing existing products. So it really plays an important role, not just to get an idea to market, but also to have that market uh, respond back to us and help us improve on what we offer to our customers. The overall transformation at Philips is really driven by a desire to better serve our customers and to help us be more competitive in the marketplace, to be faster, more agile, more efficient, and better meeting the needs of our customers. Ultimately, that's what we need to do to best serve those customers and defeat our competition and really help our company become the great company that we know it is. A lot of people have asked me, why are we going to a common PLM? We, we could have a lot of different PLM systems. In fact, we do have a lot of PLM systems today and it causes additional complexity. It's, it's much more costly, but more, probably more importantly, it slows us down and it doesn't allow us as a company across organizational boundaries to collaborate. Ultimately, we're not serving our customers near as well as we could. And PLM is one of the tools, and moving to a common PLM system will accelerate our ability to better serve our customers across all elements of our business models and winning value chains. The common PLM system will increase the quality, increase the speed, allow us to simplify and take a bunch of cost out so that we can spend that time, effort, and money focus on things that the customer does care about and do it in a way that leverages the strength of all of us. That's one of the things I'm so excited about, about going to a common PLM system. We will start our journey of a common PLM solution with the basic functionality such as engineering change management and we will then extend it to collaboration, uh, components management, as well as also making a connection to requirements management and service lifecycle management. The use of the powerful uh, product lifecycle management solution will allow our teams to focus on developing superior products and reduce the time needed to administer data, drawings and documents. Adopting the out-of-the-box approach has a big impact on the way we approach PLM. Whereas in the past we were ourselves looking to create better and better ways of doing product lifecycle management, we will now be able to choose and configure the best practices that are already available. One of the additional benefits of having a common PLM between healthcare, lighting and consumer lifestyle is the fact that we will be able to share best practices and understand uh, the ways of working of each other in a much more comprehensive and faster way. What does a common PLM platform mean? It's really the foundational element of our transformation. It will allow us, from a process perspective, to harmonize and standardize around world-class processes using the PTC Windchill solution across all geographical regions, across all three sectors, to really enable the agility to design anywhere, build anywhere, and support anywhere. The adoption beyond core capabilities of the PLM platform really is a strategic enabler in the end-to-end -end transformation of Philips. It allows us to look at the PLM platform, but then look further downstream 
to market to order, order to cash in terms of how the product structure discipline then feeds our configurable systems, our ERP uh, discipline and our transactional systems, and then further on down to our field service engineering capability in how we provide service and how we provide better solutions to our customers. The PLM platform is a strategic enabler of capabilities. Fundamentally, it will allow us to shorten time to market, it will allow us to improve quality, and it will allow us to design for cost. All those are factors that the healthcare industry needs to improve health and well-being for our patients. It's that important that we get this right. It's that important from a strategic enabler that we provide these solutions for our customers.